Hello and welcome back to Webcast News, let's get started. Firstly, the big news for this video, which is of the explosions in Tianjin, China. This happened late Wednesday night in China's local time at 11.30pm in a very industrial area, which is what made this a lot worse. With Tianjin being one of the biggest and most important industrial centres in the whole of China. The blast is being reported to have come from Ruhai Logistics, who specialise in the handling of dangerous and toxic chemicals. The explosion occurred because a shipment of explosives detonated, which was the initial explosion, and unfortunately because they also have very flammable and hazardous materials around, that also blew up, and that was the second bigger explosion a few seconds later. Lots of smaller blasts continue to happen in the area and as of recording over 50 people have been reported as dead and over 700 people injured. And of the over 50 killed, 12 of these are firefighters and 36 firefighters are yet to be found with the firefighters already being in the area because they were dealing with containers that had caught fire. And sadly, due to the high number of injured people in this incident, hospitals in the area are having to turn away victims of this because they are just full and they cannot care for any more people. President Xi Jinping has said that there will be a full and thorough investigation into what caused the explosion. And also saying that there will be transparent information disclosure to the public and state broadcasters are saying that one person of the relevant company is being detained for questioning on what actually happened in this. But obviously thoughts go out to the friends of families of the victims and also the injured victims in this as well. And we can only hope for the best out of this. Now for a few bits of quick news. And firstly for you British teens of my age, A-levels results were given out today. So to the people who have got the grades that they want, well done. To the people who didn't, still well done, because there are some very successful people that didn't even go to college or didn't complete college. So you're already past them. And if you at least got a grade, that's a start point. Numbers are suggesting so far that the number of top grades, so A stars and A's, are actually down again for the fourth year in a row. However, this year has seen a record number of acceptances for people into higher education, However, this is because a cap was lifted last year, probably. But let's look on the positive side anyway. And finally for today's video, a couple of trailers that have been released over the past sort of day. And firstly is one for The Hateful Eight. This has been directed by Quentin Tarantino and starring Samuel L. Jackson, Kurt Russell and Jennifer Jason Lee. And it's set for release on Christmas Day in 70mm. To be honest, I don't really know what that means, but it's set for a more general release on the 8th of January 2016. And the other trailer being for a new film adaptation of the popular British sitcom Dad's Army. This is done by this has been done by Universal Studios and is starring Toby Jones, Bill Nye, and Catherine Zeta Jones. Set for release on February 5th, 2016. And it is only a very short trailer, but I hope they do kind of stick to the humour of the television show from the 70s. Because I have watched a lot of Dad's Army episodes, and they are quite funny, but I have a weird humour. But if you haven't watched Dad's Army, and you're from Britain, I'd say give it, a, give it a look. And that is it for today's video. I hope you have liked it. If you have, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.